Bonjour tout le monde. Wanted to give you some tips about your second composition. So in week eight, not only are you writing your composition and posting it to our discussion to get some input from your uh, classmates, but you're also going to be submitting this in a Dropbox as a Word document as well. So let's have a look. So Rédaction 2 is, the title is Ma Famille, Ma Famille, My Family. So you're writing about your family. So dans votre deuxième composition, présentez un minimum de trois membres de votre famille. In your composition, you're going to have to tell us about at least three people, right? Three members of your family. Écrivez un minimum d'une page, so at least one page. And that can be double-spaced, uh, size 12 font. So let's look at the questions that I'm asking you. Qui sont les membres de votre famille? Who are the members of your family, right? So maybe you could start off your composition with telling us how many people there are in your family. You know how to say there is, there are. Il y a, right? Avez-vous une grande famille ou une petite famille? So the, the verb there is avoir, right? So make sure you use avoir, a form of avoir. If you want to say I have, j'ai in your answer. Où habite-t-il? Where do they live? So tell us where your family lives. Maybe you all live in the same house. Maybe you live uh, in a specific city, right? All that stuff works. So you can say, um, my family lives in Houston. They live in Houston. We live in Houston, something like that. Tous dans la même maison, dans des villes différentes. Do they all live in the same house or in different cities, right? So this might be a chance for you to say that my brother lives in Austin. Mon frère habite à Austin, for example, okay? Um, quel âge ont-ils? How old are they, right? So uh, make sure that when you give somebody's age, you're using that expression to give your age. Avoir, and then a number, and then the word en. So if you want to say, for example, my brother is 19, mon frère a 19 ans. Mon frère a 19 ans. All right? So make sure you have the en in there. And uh, if you're using numbers like that, numbers that you've already learned, make sure you spell them out. 19. Um, so, comment s'appelle-t-il? What are their names, right? So, my brother's name is so-and-so. Mon frère s'appelle. Ma mère s'appelle. Whatever. So, quelle langue parle-t-il? What languages do they speak? Uh, you know how to say, I speak French. Je parle français. I speak a little bit of French. Je parle un peu de français. I speak Spanish. Je parle espagnol. I speak Arabic. Je parle arabe. Whatever the case may be. Uh, then, ils sont de quelle nationalité? What nationalities are they, right? So, um, nous sommes américains, maybe, I don't know. Que font-ils dans la vie? What do they do for a living? If you have any questions about jobs or anything like that, feel free to email me if you're not sure. I can help you out. Um, uh, comment sont-ils la personnalité? What are their personalities like, right? You have lots of adjectives to describe uh, uh, personalities uh, in chapter 2. So have a look at the list in chapter 2 for personality adjectives to describe. Qu'est-ce qu'ils aiment? So, you know, you have a lot of uh, musical genres, different kinds of sports, uh, kinds of movies, kinds of TV shows that you can say that they like. Que n'aiment-ils pas? What don't they like, right? So maybe a list of those things that they like and then a list of those things that they don't like. Voyagez-vous ensemble? Do you travel together? Où allez-vous en vacances? Where do you go when you go on vacation, right? Maybe you stay in Texas. Nous restons Oh, Texas, right? Um, uh, so, where do you travel, right? Careful with prepositions and place names, right? So, if you go to a particular place, usually with a city, it's just ah. Um, uh, with the place names that aren't cities, like countries, for example, have a look at the end of Chapter 3, because prepositions and place names are described in there in Chapter 3. Uh, let's see. Uh, quelles activités aimez-vous faire ensemble? So maybe these are the kinds of things that you like to do when you're on vacation or just in general when you're hanging out together as a family. Maybe you like to go to restaurants. Nous aimons aller au restaurant ensemble, right? So, uh, dînez-vous tous ensemble tous les soirs ou seulement pour une occasion spéciale? Do you all have dinner uh, uh, together every night uh, or only for a special occasion? Qui fait la cuisine chez vous? Faire la cuisine is one of those uh, uh, expressions with avoir that's in 3.2. So, um, have a look at those expressions, uh, not with avoir, but with faire, uh, uh, and be able to say that so-and-so does the cooking or we, take, we do the cooking, whatever. Y a-t-il d'autres études? Dans votre famille. Any other students in your family? My, like, my sister is also a student. Ma soeur est étudiante aussi. Um, uh, and then, pourquoi aimez-vous votre famille? Why do you like your family? Why do you love your family? Okay? Um, so, uh, 
in general with this composition, you might want to start it off with one nice general paragraph that involves everybody in the family, and then a separate paragraph for each member of the family, so three uh, body paragraphs, uh, uh, and then a conclusion paragraph with more general information about the whole family. So that'll give you some uh, uh, space to separate uh, all the ages, all the nationalities, all the languages that they speak, etc. All right, and uh, um, remember also that when you're writing a composition, Yes, I'm giving you these questions as a guide for you to write your composition, but don't answer them uh, uh, with as yes or no questions, right? So don't say, yes, we speak English. Yes, we are American. Yes, we travel together. No, we don't like this, right? So don't put any yeses or nos in your composition, all right? Just treat this as a guide. Make sure you touch upon all these things in your composition instead, all right? And email me if you have any questions. Bonne chance. Au revoir.